Gloucestershire. And back to the traditional king of assault courses, the grey squirrel, a reward of hazelnuts and a retired consultant anaesthetist. With remarkable patience, David Wilkins has documented the ingenuity of two very special garden visitors. This is a tale of two squirrels, Cyril and Cecil, each with very different problem-solving skills. This is Cyril, and for Cyril, success hangs in the balance. He's fantastic at walking washing lines. And then there's Cecil. He's a jumper. Why go to the trouble of tightrope walking when you can make death-defying leaps? Each squirrel will have to use its special skills to solve David's challenges. But are they up to it? It started innocently enough with David tempting Cyril onto the line to balance his way to food. But that was too easy. David moved the feeder farther away to see just how far Cyril could tightrope walk. This thin line is a far cry from a tree branch. It needs all Cyril's sense of balance to stay upright. But he's certainly adept at pulling strings. Hmm, now there's an idea for a challenge. Time for David to add a second line, a lovely hazelnut reward. But David has doubled the length of the tightrope walk and there's a tricky string climb halfway through. That should slow him down enough for David to get some shots of Cyril coming down the line. But you've got to be quick on your feet to catch Cyril in action. Ah, oh, there he is on the lawn. OK, here we go. On to the line. Here we come. Oops, nearly off the line. Oh, here we are, back on again. But what would Cyril make of the string? No problem. David proved himself almost as ingenious as the squirrels, replacing the string with a wooden drawbridge. And that line walk isn't a problem anymore. Just look at that tail, whirling like a dervish to keep Cyril balanced. But what about the drawbridge? Absolutely no problem at all. Next! But David still has a few tricks up his sleeve. How long's a piece of string? In this case, it's now very long. Will Cyril get past this? Just time for David to set up another little test in time for his return. Could Cyril walk along the line, negotiate the drawbridge and make a mighty leap down to this table? Inside a perspex tube, some more lovely hazelnuts that can only be retrieved by pulling the string. David waits patiently for Cyril to attempt the fiendish 3D maze, finger poised on the record button. But what's this? Another squirrel. And one that obviously doesn't want to learn his lines. Washing lines, that is. This is Cecil, the jumper. And for a jumper like Cecil, there has to be another way up. But David has to stop him. Otherwise, there'll be no nuts left for Cyril and no incentive for him to try that fiendish drawbridge. That should do it. And just to make sure, we'll make the string pull ten times as long. And move that flower barrel further away. No way that Cecil's going to get up there. Oh. oh, well, Cecil makes a record leap, further than David ever thought possible.
Undeterred, Cyril comes back to have another look at that drawbridge. But it's too much even for him. And now, for the first time, he's forced to find another way. Over the roof and across the wall. I thought only flies could do that. David adds a baffle. And that doesn't stop him. Another baffle? Well, it works for now. Surely Cyril will have to negotiate the drawbridge now. Nope. Cyril's constant search for an easier route shows ingenuity, but more importantly, a thorough understanding of the way the different stages of this 3D maze fit together. And biologists now believe that for many animals, the very difficulty of the task, and not just the food, may be an end in itself. In a sense, the squirrels actually relish the challenge. Soon after Cyril received this Christmas gift, David never saw him again. We guess that unlike the red squirrel we saw earlier, he'd worked out that the reward of a hazelnut simply wasn't worth all the extra effort of doing the constantly changing assault course. <laughs>